Hello everyone. Um, previously, we mentioned that the third-party SSD for M4 Mac Mini was about to be launched. Now the first batch of mass-produced drives is officially available. First, let's take a closer look at the drive. This board comes with large capacity solar memory chips, significantly boosting your storage space. However, it is important to note that the board is shipped empty without any pre-installed operating system. Many might wonder why the manufacturer doesn't pre-install the system for convenience. The reason is that the SSD needs to be paired with the CPU chip inside the Mac Mini M4. Even if the system were pre-installed, it wouldn't work on your device. Therefore, the board is shipped blank, and you need to install the system yourself. Hardware installation steps. Let's dive into the installation steps. Step 1. Remove the case. Use a thin metal sheet to pry open the case near the power button of the Mac Mini M4. Be careful not to use excessive force. Once a small section is open, insert a plastic sheet to prevent the case from snapping back and continue prying open the rest. Locate the power button's connection cable. There is a clip securing the cable. Gently release it to avoid damage. Step 2. Remove the original drive. Unscrew the fan and hard drive screws. Take care to protect the internal cables, as they can be difficult to repair if damaged. Carefully remove the original drive. Observe its orientation, noting that the side with more circuits typically faces up. Step 3. Install the third-party drive. Align the third-party SSD with the interface and insert it. Ensure the orientation matches the direction of the Goldfinger's notch. Once inserted, secure the board with screws. Reassemble the fan, power button cable, and other components following the reverse order of disassembly. Step 4. Reassemble the case. Ensure all components are properly installed. Then align the case with the clips and press it back into place. DFU flashing steps. After completing the hardware installation, the next step is to flash the system onto the device, connecting the wires. Use a Thunderbolt 4 cable to connect the Thunderbolt port on the Mac Mini M4 to the additional Mac computer. Plug a USB-C cable from an external display into another port on the Mac Mini M4 to view system status during the process. Preparation. On the additional Mac computer, download and install the Apple Configurator software. Obtain the latest system file in IPSW format from Apple's website. Enter DFU mode. Ensure the Mac Mini is powered off. Press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. While holding the power button, connect the power cable with your other hand until the device enters DFU mode. A DFU icon will appear on the screen. Flash the system. Open Apple Configurator and locate the connected device in the interface. Drag the IPSW file into the software interface and select the Restore option. This will erase all data on the device and install the system. The flashing process takes about 20 minutes, during which the device will reboot multiple times. Once complete, the screen will light up, displaying the initial setup interface. Final setup. After flashing, you can connect a mouse and keyboard using the front Type-C ports or a USB adapter to complete the setup. If this is your first use, follow the on-screen instructions to configure Wi-Fi, language, and other initial settings. Where to purchase? You can order the expansion boards now at m4ssd.com. Currently, only the 2TB drive version is available, priced at $350. The first shipment is scheduled to start on January 5th, 2025. And that's it. The installation and flashing of the third-party SSD are now complete. While the process might seem a bit complex, you can achieve it successfully by following the steps carefully. Thank you for watching.